Surfing and modeling is more about knowing what to expect and knowing where to put the ball because you don't have time to react. Which are two plays and how to use your back and body effectively. Yeah. Same side though. It, so the problem with surfing and modeling is you gotta learn how to serve play one side at a time, like add side. Combine the step in with the serve, kind of jump into it and have one step, two step, three steps and the ball bounces. You gotta be able to do this. Accelerate to the ball. See how I accelerate the ball? I close into the ball. So I split as he makes impact right there. And I'm accelerating to the ball, coming closer and closer in net. You have to get close to net to volley effectively. So I'm inside the service box for his first volley. We play a reversal using the backhand volley. You can use your backhand volley cross court 80% of the time. It's easier to do than inside out. This is a reversal. He was expecting to down the line. It throws a lot. You have to have a, almost a money overhead. It doesn't have to be big, but it has to be well placed. A ball in the air will beat a person on the ground 90% of the time. Serving and volley is a lot about where you put the ball. Not about the pace. The harder you hit the ball, the closer it gets to them. So hitting it soft makes it run up to the ball. So same thing. Close and split. You must make impact by service line. I can't stress this enough. If you're not getting a service line to serve and volley, you can't serve and volley. Inside out backhand volley, tough shot 20% of the time, but you're playing the open court shot. This pattern is the open court, serve wide, open court volley. Just hit clean and smooth, and he won't be able to get to the ball. And land your body by service line, that would have to run more.